All right, guys. So this is a UBR 10,012. Uh, when we first got this chassis, um, it looks like this one. It looks just like this, you know, very uh, dirty and not being touched up or anything. As you can see here on the side here, uh, some of these scratches on it. Okay. As you can see here. Now, after we touch it up, it uh, looks very nice and all the dirt's been removed from the system. As you can see here. Other things that we also do is that we take all the components up, uh, from the system and take a look at everything, uh, make sure that it is in top condition before we uh, uh, reassemble and test it for uh, whoever needs it, all right? So like, for example, you know, we make sure all these pins, you see all these little small pins back here? Probably won't, can't see it a little bit far but um, we have to make sure you know all those pins are straight and that there's no damage because one little pin goes wrong and this thing will have alerts everywhere okay also here okay this is where the SIP 600 goes in here's where your yeah, UBR DTC goes in this is where all your cars goes in, okay? Eight slots, okay? On the back here, on the top, it's where your fan tray goes in. Uh, you can use a regular fan tray or fan tray plus. It goes in here, you know, this Cisco system, it's uh, they designed it pretty good. All you basically do is put the, put the fan in and everything's connected, you know? So, yeah, as you can see here, right here, this is where the power supply goes in. You can put AC or DC, just basically put the power supply module here. The first one go here, second goes here, and you're good. Um, this is where your um, ESR PRE or UBR10 PRE5 goes in. Okay, there's two slots for t uh, maximum of two, two uh, riding performance. Okay, and this is where your little LED goes in as connect to this. It gives you all the status and all these little things that you you might want to look at it you know when you do configuration okay so this is what we do to it and i will show you the complete product afterward okay so take a break all right guys we're, we're back here again uh here you're looking at the ubr 10012 uh with some uh, modules and power supply fell in already as you can see here, this is where the fan tray goes in, and this is where your power supplies goes in, okay? And this is where your PRE, we only have one in there right now. Also included, every time we ship one of these uh, systems out to you, we're going to have a test, uh, test report showing you that we, you know, we test this unit and it's working and uh, not just one of those things where a lot of m many people do they just plug it in the power if it piles up and they turn it off and they ship it to you you know we test everything uh, here to make sure it works okay after that you know we uh we pack it up uh wrap it with cushion and uh, cover with plastic wrap uh, for six, 60 to 80 bucks, we could uh, provide you a wood crate like this. Uh, this one probably costs around 140. Um, Sometimes we have these wood crates that we could put in. <laughs> uh, put the chassis in, which. Uh, a lot of people liked it, but it's, it makes it heavier, and you'll probably have to pay more for uh, freight. So, you know, it's just, it's up to you. We could just put on pallet. Uh, you could get a wood too, but it just costs extra money. So, up to you. Just it's just all a presentation.